Hi everyone! As you may or may not know, I'm Rachel from Beauty in the Bookshelf, link below, down there somewhere. And today I'm going to tell you all about what I'm hoping to read this July, which starts, what, tomorrow? Whatever date is in this video, whatever July starts. This month, I'm participating in Rereadathon and Shelf Sweeper, which I'm co-hosting with Shay from Shay Has Left the Room, link also below, down there. And this is a readathon that lets you, you know, guilt-free get all those books read that you haven't had a chance to read because if you're like me, you're swamped with ARCs and review books and this and that. So there's two portions to this readathon. And you can do both. You can do one or the other. You can start anytime in July. It's just a July readathon. And at the end, if you fancy giveaways, there's going to be an international giveaway. And so here's a quick lowdown on readathon and shelf sweeper. Like I said, two parts. First part is rereadathon. Simple as it says, reread books. Get those books that you've been wanting to read again. You can have a chance to read them again. If you're like me, it's like half your bookshelf. So like, I want to read that. I don't have time to read that. Now you have the time. Second part is the shelf sweeper. And that's the part I'm hosting in my blog. Rereadathon will be hosted, most of the info on Shay's blog, and I'll be portioned with like the shelf sweeper part. I know probably has confused you, just forget it. It's still, you can enter on either blog. All the info will be below, so don't worry about it. But anyway, back to part two. Shelf Sweeper is where you can read those books that you bought and you haven't read yet. So again, if you're like me, you own all these books that you haven't had a chance to read yet. And now guess what? You can read them. And if you're like me, you wrote a list and you're like, look at all the books that I haven't read yet. And the list is actually way longer than that. Now you can read them. So I'm going to tell you what books I'm going to reread, hopefully. What books I'm going to sweep off my shelves, but still keep, you know, but sweep them off reading-wise, hopefully. And, yeah, go from there. But first off, I have to cheat a little bit. Now, for the, I'm going to call it RRSS on here. For RRSS, you only have to do that. You can still do your review books, as you know. I didn't get all my July arcs read in June because I'm a slow reader behind and everything. So there's three of them I have to also get read during July with the other books. And first up on my Kindle is Midnight Thief by Livia Blackburn. And I've already started, which you can't quite see, but it's over here. I've got to get Wild Red. I already started that. It's a Tarzan retelling by Alex Mallory. And then I've also got to read my other July arc which is Let's Get Lost by D.L. Sad. So I'll get those read throughout July. Also, I'm going to get my book club book read, because I have book club on the 11th, and I haven't started The Shining yet, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, there's that. And now on to the books that I'll be reading for July, hopefully. I'm pretty sure I've bit off more than I could possibly chew, but I'm hoping to push through it, because I'm 15 books behind on my Goodreads goal, and if I don't catch up soon, I'm screwed. I'm going to have to lower it, because I'm not going to just like be under it the whole time. So anyway, I'm mainly focusing on series for this readathon with two standalones in it because I'm behind on my series and I like series and I don't get a chance to binge them all. So they're a focus this month. But for my two standalones, one I'm going to read for the first time and one's going to be a reread. And my reread standalone is Stolen by Lucy Christopher. I read this, jeez. I think the Hunger Games were so like the first book wasn't out yet. The third book wasn't out yet. So around that time. And it was really good. I'm hoping it's still really good. So I'm gonna get this one reread, hopefully. And then series wise, because I don't have it already, I'm going to see if I'm about reading the Devouring series by Simon Holt. Where's the pound of work? There you go. The Devouring, Solstice, and Fearscape. I remember this being a really weird, creepy series. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. People, you know, ask me, what's a creepy book? What's a good Halloween book? What about a ring trilogy? Oh, what's it about? I don't know. I remember it being creepy. So, now I can, you know, actually talk about the books and maybe know what they're about. And then also, really excited, I haven't reread the series. I've reread it before, but I haven't reread it in a while. And that is one that you probably haven't heard of The Whirling Trilogy by uh, Stephen Cole. And it is Werewolf, about a guy. It's camping, it's turned into a werewolf by this family. They want their daughter to be a werewolf, in order for her to become a werewolf, because it's in her blood. It's just a mate with the werewolf, and she's like, no, I don't want to be a werewolf. And he's like, I'm not going to do that. And so, you know, three books of their adventures and escapades. It's really fun, and I love this series. It's simple, but it's good, and I love werewolves. So, way overdue for a reread of this series. So, I'm going to get that one done. 
And the last series I'm going to reread is another one that I read a long time ago and I'm looking forward to reading again. And that would be the Darkest Powers trilogy by Kelly Armstrong. The Summoning, The Awakening, and The Reckoning. Sometimes being, you know, not the best series and not my favorite, but it was fun and it was like all that fun paranormal stuff and great characters. So looking forward to getting that one read again. Okie dokie, and now on to the shelf sweeper portion, which, you know, you can't see it, but there's books from over here, they're hiding, they're back there too, but, anyway, my, uh, standalone I'm going to try to get read this month is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. I've heard this is really, really good, and it's supposed to be super pretty books, I'm excited about getting that one read, especially since I bought it, I'm like, hey, I want to read that, and I haven't read it yet, so, we'll get that one done. And then the rest of my reread, reread shelf sweeping books are parts of series. Because a lot of new books that are going to be released. And I'm just, I'm behind on my series. So we're going to get that done. So this one, third book's out, I think in a couple months. And I still need to read The Dream Thieves. I didn't love The Raven Boys, but I actually started The Dream Thieves after reading The Raven Boys. Read the first chapter. It's kind of met about it. I peeked ahead at the book, saw some things I didn't want to see about the book, and I didn't have time to read it and didn't feel like reading it, so I put it down. But now I need to actually read The Dream Thieves, so that's at the top of my list for July. I'm also going to get started on the Defiance Trilogy by C.J. Redwine. This is the third book, also releases later this year, I think, in a couple months. I don't know when, at some point. But there's dragons, and the main character's name is Rachel, so I kind of have to read this one. So I'm excited about that. And I have a second book, so I gotta get on that. And the other series I'm starting, which I can't believe I haven't started yet, so please don't hate on me, but Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, which I've heard such great things about, and I just I need to read it. So, oops, sorry, I haven't read it yet, but trust me, this will happen. If it doesn't happen, smack me or something. And the rest are all series finishers, starting with Hidden by Sophie Jordan, the finale to the Firelight trilogy about um, people that kind of turn into dragons, sort of. Well, yeah, I don't know how it works. I don't get what they look like, but I read the last two books back to back last year. I don't know why I didn't read this one afterward, but got to get this one over with and then get this done. My, my fun series. And this one, I read the book, first two books forever ago. I still haven't read the finale of the Flapper Trilogy, which is Diva. I don't remember everything that happened in the first few books, but I think I'll be okay. And I like this kind of stuff, and it's fun. It's a good series. So, how am I going to finish it off? And the first two books are Vixen and, I don't know how you pronounce it, in, in genuine, in genuine? I don't know. I'm really bad at pronunciation, so there you go. And I still haven't read the finale to Jody Meadows' Incarnate series, which would be Incarnate. Okay, first of all, the series is called New Soul. Sorry, I forget that every time. But that'd be Incarnate, um, Ascender, and then Infinite. And I'm afraid this will break my heart a little bit, but I think we're going to be okay. I think it's going to be nice to me as series endings go. So, finally going to get this baby red. It's so pretty. It's shiny. And last but not least, it's not my priority this month. But if I have time, I'm going to get it this month because it's kind of part of the show super portion. Because, you know, this book... They just released, and I know I'm going to get spoiled at some point. I'm already seeing some things where I'm like, ah, I know. Somebody thinks I'm going to die in this book, but I need to get Ruin and Rising read. I liked the first book. It was good. Um, the second book, Siege and Storm, was more of a, like, sophomore slump to me. So I'm not, like, dying to read this book, but it's a series finale, and those are usually pretty good. And something big's going to happen, and I want to know what's going to happen, so I don't know what's going to happen, except, like I said earlier, I've Pretty sure somebody big's gonna die, so great. But yeah, I'm hoping to get this one read too. So those are the what? Ten eight eighteen books. Eighteen books I'm gonna try to get read. Plus three arcs, plus the shining for book club. So we'll see how that goes. Again, all the information for um Readathon and Shelf Super is down below in the more about whatever section. And one more thing with the Readathon and Shelf Sweeper, just because you put out a list of what you're going to read, doesn't mean you have to read that. I know I'm probably not going to get all these books read. I might decide to not read one of these and read something else on my shelves instead. So it's just it's just your chance to get all those books read and be like, hey, I want to re reread a book. Here's time. Just focus on July. Get those books read. Get it done. 
And yeah, happy reading, and I will see you later.